enforceable. Um, I think there's also a mechanism where we could have signage where, um, you know, if people are in violation of, you know, parking in those stalls, that, um, that even though it's not city parking, I, I believe there's still a mechanism. I know we've done it in other communities where um, Monroe police could still ticket or we could still, you know, tow. So, I mean, I, I think we'd be, you know, committed to that. I, you know, I think we're only, we're talking about, um, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday from, from 1 to 4 p.m. Um, um, there are special events as well. Early, or um, in October of this year, we had a special event on a Friday evening where there were over 100 visitors to the Historical Society. And then there's also instances, like I said, where there's field trips with busfuls of people that do arrive. I don't know how much we can discuss here, but I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's other options. I don't know if the, the committee needs to meet at that place. I mean, if they're just meeting their private visit the museum or? The board? Yeah, the board. Um, we haven't met there during the winter because it's too costly to turn the heat on, yeah. you know, up, and it doesn't, it doesn't get warm enough in time anyway. But I mean, there's volunteers that go there on a regular basis. I mean, it's open June through October, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays from 1 to 4. There are special events that are held there. The annual meeting is held there. You know, it's like telling the theater guild they can't meet at the theater guild <laughs> because, you know, there's no parking for them. I mean, I don't think it's fair to tell them that they can't meet at their own building. But they're also, I mean, there's a lease with the city on that building. You know, there's an agreement between them and taking away all their parking, I don't think is, is really fair. I mean, it is a city owned building. And do we want to take away parking from the senior center? I don't think that would go over well, or from City Hall. You know, it's really quite the same. But then, I mean, essentially what you're saying is because of parking for the historical society, society which is obviously important, no development can occur there. Yeah. If, otherwise, if, if it involves taking parking there. So, <coughs> You know, and the issue really was is, I guess, initially my understanding is that that 50-foot area would stay open. I didn't realize that was all becoming parking um, because I was under the impression, I guess, maybe it was my own fault that there would be underground parking. I understand there could be issues with that, but I thought there would at least be the stalls in that 133 by 50 area that would stay open no, for no. public parking. Even from last time, they were going to take that all out. Last time we didn't have this, it was at the other lot. No, no, it's stop and go, and we discussed this. They, I asked, them, I specifically asked the question, and I must have and they were going to take part. the whole thing, yeah. not just, just, just yeah. one square. And Are I must, I, I guess I, I mean that's that's really the issue that they have. I guess if we could cut that 133 by 50 part off, and even just make it, I know it's 20 stalls right now, make it into 10 stalls because I understand the configuration can be the same because you can't drive through or something, but taking away all that parking is obviously an issue with the board, so. Do you have any plans for underground parking money-wise or not? We do. You do? Yeah. Okay, so even with the underground parking, you'll still need all that parking? You know, we, we would need all of it. We would need, this is really a worst case scenario. So I think, um, so we have 24, yeah, so I'd want to talk to our regional, but I, I, I would think certainly at least half like you know this this whole row along here I'd want to go back and, and think it's before I really committed anything but we'd be open I mean I, and you know Brooke I would love to come and talk to the board yeah, because definitely. I mean shared parking is 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 great land use policy I mean it is I, I get that it's not as good as just open unfettered but I mean you know it, I mean I think you'll appreciate you can't plan around a couple events a year. You know, it's just it's just not appropriate use of, of really this prime real estate in, in downtown Monroe. And I think, you know, what's what's most important for us? Overnight parking. You know, and that's why I was yeah, you know, that's why I said, you know, really the, the Friday afternoon stuff, you know, the Thursday you know, no brainer. Really easy. Easy they're all at work, you know, there there's no one parking here. Saturday Saturday, Sunday, um, you know, like I mentioned in a voicemail, you know, we'd be um, you know, I, we we could certainly live with it. You know, it it just means our tenants have to have to move, and you know, we we will enforce it. So I think, um, you know, I know your board doesn't know me. We've met, we haven't looked right. at plans together. You know, I think it probably would be helpful. You know, if we we did kind of, kind of talk more, because I think um, 
you know, I, I, we're more than willing to look at, at, at shared, shared parking and, um, you know, forward commitments on, on that shared parking. Well, I definitely invite you to come meet with them. I think that would be good. I mean, I support affordable housing. I supported the last time. Yeah. I think it's a great concept. I love it. It's something that we need. It's part of our comprehensive plan. And if we can work something out, I think that would be wonderful. So. Great. Do we have any current direction for them tonight? When would we come back with them some direction or another for them right the meeting? You know, our next board meeting isn't until the first Thursday of April. Um, you know, I can talk to them to see if we could put together a special meeting at some point, but. Well, is there anything that we could simultaneously track yeah. uh, that is ongoing so we're not reading that? Right. Not yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, what? Well, what? I think the development, you know, I think what's, so for the, the AHP application that would be due in June, we wouldn't need this whole, like, TIF financing, you know, that would need to be in place. We would need to have some sort of option um, to, have, to have site control to get us the points for that. And, you know, I think we'd want to structure it so that, you know, if the project is, you know, you, you guys aren't at risk of, of us getting this land without a viable project. And I think we could certainly work with the city attorney to, to come up with some sort of, you know, language that would protect the interests of the community while still giving us the, you know, the, the kind of documentation we would need to have a competitive application. Um, so I really, you know, I know we're talking out in June, but, you know, I just, these, these things do take, do take time. Um, and I think we could maybe look at a kind of a template, you know, of a, of a developer agreement as well to kind of start kind of hammering out some of these terms so that, you know, you all can be kind of aware of the kind of intricacies of, of kind of what that what that deal looks like. You know, what are what are we committing to as a developer and you know what is the city committing to um, as well. I personally like some time about some numbers. Right, so, because you're, you're saying that it was overly clear. That's an option. That's hey, one option. of the options. That's an option. Yes. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to even look at those numbers. So we need to basically set a date to decide if we want to move forward one way or another with this. And what kind of timeline we should feel comfortable with. Well, I, I guess I'd like to see the, the developer agreement as well. I mean, rather than wait for that to be crammed up against a hard deadline for their application process, because then if that if we don't meet that date, then the whole calendar gets thrown off, and we're looking at nothing happening. So I, I prefer to see the developer and the staff working towards a, an agreement. I think probably have a template from the previous years that have been on that site and offered that isn't too much of a step from this one. That so that if in fact we are already in agreement to move forward with it, that the trigger can be pulled as opposed to having to initiate that process late in the game. The one piece will be trying to determine which route you want to go uh, as far as uh, looking at within TIT 7 or an overlay. To go to finance committee to make a recommendation, or if you want this body to do that, once you have a chance to look at those numbers a little more uh, closer, closely, that is one thing that we'll have to look at is we want to go the route of an overlay TIM because that would take some time to develop, but it also will play into which developer's agreement or how that would be structured a little bit. I mean, it's not going to change a lot, it's going to change the time frame, not the major content. I guess because everything else regarding this project has come before whole council, I'd like to see that as well. Because I think we could all offer some value and put on it. And by having it just go to finance, it really helps just the discussion that we can have. That's just what I thought. Mm -hmm. The next council meeting work to decide on the TIB method? Yeah, I think we should keep it fresh and just keep it going. I agree with that. Yeah. Then on the next, uh, next council meeting, then we can have that decision to move and add them to the next step. And can we at the next meeting, I don't know if it's just all or none type thing, I mean, are we able to like maybe, if it's a stopper, like we need 20 of those stalls back, I mean, can we kind of negotiate that or amongst ourselves and say, hey. That's part of the agreement we would 
Is that start to work on the well? I would just only, you know, we would need to do some, some soil warnings. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whether, you know, that's something that the city would want to do just to know, because if, I assume if this project doesn't happen, you know, at some point you guys want to see development here. And I would think it'd be only a, a handful of warnings, but, you know, at least then we would know with certainty, you know, either there's bedrock there or there isn't. Um, I think they were done. Didn't the previous project owner? Well, uh, I know for sure they're going up uh, 16th Street or 16th Avenue. There's bedrock in there because they had used heavy winter to do sewers and it cost the city extra money. Yeah. And they had all the extra stuff to do. Right now? When we had sewer on 16th Avenue, we did not show bedrock in that, but on 9th Street, uh, right out in front of the museum, we hammered rock that was just below the street. And right. so it drops off right in that area. I know the phone company goes down three stories. Yeah, yeah, and I know. I mean, I look the houses across the street, all the basements. Which, and it, but yeah, you know, I I talked to a slight utility contractor. You know, they said, you know, you would think bedrock would be, you know, it can just be little pockets, and you know, you just don't. But there know. was that previous project there. Does anybody the know? Center. Did they do the senior. senior housing? Yeah, Silverstone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they did do boring. Didn't they do boards? Wouldn't that be somewhere? I looked in the, if it was the same asphalt parking lot, I didn't see any, you would see remnants from borings. So maybe if there's a new asphalt overlay, or I could have missed some. Okay, yeah, I, I, I didn't see them. They had applied, but they didn't qualify, so I don't think they did anything further than that. We had an, an agreement you know, in place for it, but I think that's as far as it got. Uh, maybe that's something we can put on the next agenda as well as permission or cost <coughs> to look at borings. Get some quotes on it, see if you want to do it. Mm -hmm. That would certainly help us if this deal falls through for in future deals. Right. Well, it help them with their information. As well, it help us all know is there parking, is there parking yeah. spare that can go back, that they can just remain public, you know? Right. And that may be just cleaner for everyone if it just stayed, stayed public. Yeah, I think Absolutely. that would. So, add that topic on, we'll also have the A or N A decision on our tips and carry on with that one. Sounds good. Okay. What, what, what came here? I can hear you. Add the boring discussion on the next meeting as well. The boring, boring discussion. <laughs> <laughs> boring meeting. Did, did, yes. did you want us to start work on the agreement or wait until after? <coughs> wait until the next meeting. Got it. <coughs> and then we can pull the trigger on that decision then. Got it. Thank you. Okay. This is closed under Wisconsin Stats 19.85 for one parent E, deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business, can have a competitive or bargaining reasons required closed session. And under Wisconsin Stats 19.85 for one parent C, considering employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public property over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercise of responsibility. Attendance is limited to the governing body, necessary staff, and other officers, such as the clerk and attorney, and other persons whose presence is necessary for the business at hand. Be discussing the continuing uh, consideration of BNS LTD and offer and potential negotiation. <coughs> and review qualifications, experience, and other attributes of utility supervisor to determine step placement on the compensation scale. And we need a motion to go in close. Take the motion to go to close. Thanks, guys. See you. Yeah, thanks. Yes. The motion second to go to the close. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no? Yeah. We are in the close. Yes, we are.